every product developed aims to fulfill a specific customer need but pinpointing what the customer actually need is more difficult than it seems without a clear understanding of the customer's pain point the development process can be quite challenging the quality function deployment is an answer to this situation it is focused on providing a clear framework for addressing the customer need beginning with the matrix colors house of quality and converting them into the technical requirements so in this video we're going to look at how do we construct a house of quality with the help of example so please watch this video till the end and also please share your comments below on how you like this video or your practical experience of using this tool so without wasting any further time let's start our video so before we start designing our product or devices we need to know what the customers actually want and what our engineers are delivering to the end customers here the qft help us in targeting what we should be actually delivering to our customers and this small small things that we do in quality function deployment can make a big difference to the end result house of quality name come from a very useful diagram used to make this plan that resembles a house which we are going to dig in shortly with the help of some example it is the process of listening to customer translating their needs what they want into the engineering specification how with the help of relationship matrix between the what and how house of quality is a part of larger process called qfd which stand for quality function deployment which is used in six sigma dmac cycle of project in defined phase the process for quality function deployment is described in iso 16355-1 2015 version this is a typical layout of a house of quality so once you have good got a good reasonable idea of who your customer base is you can start identifying what they need and what are their customer specific requirements it is lot easier to sell something someone they want than to convince someone that they should want something to get the what the customer requirements you can use a technique like research methodology direct consumer interaction customer feedback customer surveys have to formulate the questions very carefully in case of a customer surveys you can also look at the customer interview and and the finally the focus group there could be many other methods but all of these are excellent ways to get the information from the customer and surveys are extremely popular here but they are extremely limited as well so once you have compiled you your interpreted needs you are ready to begin building your house of quality let's take an example here let's select a consumer item that you want to do a house of quality let's say you are designing a suv car so here we need to first figure out what are the customer needs are which the customer requirements so customer needs are derived from marketing surveys interviews feedback or any complaint from field so what are the key six traits that you think the customer would be interested in here we are sticking to six but in real life it can go up to up to 20 or 30 as well depending upon how big the house of quality you want to construct but for this example we'll stick to six key traits in a car the first is the fast we want a fast car second is the fuel efficiency or mileage third is the safe fourth reliable fifth cheap and six is the comfort so these are the key six key attributes or customer requirements that customer would be looking for in any car now we will use this as a customer requirement to build our house of quality so once you have identified your customer requirements and need it is time to identify the importance so you have to brainstorm what do you think the customer want in terms of importance you can have any scale from 1 to 10 or 1 to 5 it is totally up to you how fine you want to be and ultimately it's going to be become relative later on so who cares let's start take a scale of 1 to 5 where 1 is 
low importance to uh, customer and five being the high importance so for fast we have importance of three fuel efficient of mileage two safe four reliable four cheap five and comfort three these are the importance from customer perspective now we need to add all these we get sum of 21 now i told you in the beginning that scale will not matter because it will all come down to relative importance so here we going to do Com com compute the relative importance of each of these parameters so first is the fast that is like we will get importance for fast that is 3 that is the importance divided by the sum of all the importance that is 21 so we get 14.28 similarly we calculate for each of these now that you have defined the left half of house of quality in terms of customer requirement importance and the relative importance it is time to now develop the engineering requirement of how we're going to convert this customer requirement into the engineering specifications so what are the actual design parameters that you are going to design to meet this customer requirements in measurable terms and directly linked to the customer attribute so we we'll list term some of the design parameters which can be measured weight in kg engine power in watt cost in dollars acceleration speed and the car dimensions in mm now you want to find whether the higher is better or the lower or we want to hit the target in terms of design parameters so we'll have these legends like this is for if you want to maximize this design parameter if you want to minimize this design parameter or you want to hit the target so for weight we want to minimize the weight of the SUV car power we want to maximize cost we want to minimize acceleration we want to maximize because we want a fast car and car dimension we want to maximize next we go to the roof of the house of quality here you specify the interrelationship between the different design parameters like weight and engine how they are related and weight and cost and each of these so we'll first start with the legends so double plus means they are strong positive correlation between these two design parameters just a positive correlation if there is nothing that means there is no correlation minus means negative correlation and double minus means strong negative correlation so let's first take the first design parameters weight and the engine power so for weight an engine power has strong positive correlation so how do we do that we go to this we take this route and we take this route and the intersection is the place where we write the correlation between these two design parameters simply we will fill it for everyone here this relationship between the design parameters help us to identify suppose if we have to increase the engine power now you can look at this roof and tell us what other parameters are going to be affected because of this change and how they are affected whether they are directly strong positive correlation between them or there is no correlation or there is a negative correlation between these design parameters think from a perspective suppose if there is a weight of car goes up what will happen to the engine power so this way we have to analyze what are the relationship between these design parameters now we need to fill how these each of these design parameters affect each of these customer requirements and we're going to link it through this relationship matrix now that we have defined the each of the design parameters and their relationship now it is time to define the relationship with the customer requirement so we define the legends first this means strong with numerical value of 9 this means medium with numerical value of 3 this means weak with numerical value of 1 and this means none with numerical value of 0 so we defined for each customer say fast against each of the design parameter these are the relationship similarly we define for each of these 
now we need to define the relative importance of each of these design parameters we start with weight so for weight it is 9 into 14.28 percent so 9 is from the scale which means strong relationship some plus 3 into 9.52 similarly we multiply all this and we get 247.5 so similarly we do it for engine power cost acceleration speed and the car dimension we add all these and we get a sum of 1520.87 now we need to calculate the relative importance for weight we will calculate importance in terms of percentage that is 247.5 divided by sum of 1520.87 so we get 16.27 similarly we do it for each of these and we get 100 percent next we will be doing the competitors analysis and we look at all the competitors what the cars they are developing how these competitors shape up with the each of this customer requirement so again we can use a scale from 1 to 5 where 1 being least important and 5 being the most important here we will us means that we are that what we are designing and a b c d are the competitors for us fast we the car that we are developing is fast and competitors a b c d are rating on form 1 to 3 and 5 similarly we do it for each of this customer requirement against each of these competitors so here you can see at the end we have listed down all the parameters of customer against each of these competitors so from this competitor analysis we can see we are lacking in the fuel efficiency and the cost so we need to focus on these design parameters more than other design parameters looking at the relative importance as well so that is all i have on this video on house of quality i hope you now have a very, very good understanding on this topic if you still have any concerns or comments or questions you can just comment below and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible